I want, really want, to see if I can put this in red leather on the back of the jacket. It's gonna look freaking sick. Good morning, gamers. If it looks like I just got out of bed, guess I have. Give me a second. Okay, I guess I look don't look that hungover anymore. Let me tell you guys, I went into this cosplay with Optus. I've done it before. I don't know why this time around gave me so much trouble. So I thought about it and how I would go about editing this video. And I'm going to show you kind of a quick little montage of all of my failed attempts at the jacket before I finally realized what I need to do. And no, it wasn't a burn. -in. No, this project was actually doomed from the start. Much like Shadow the Hedgehog the game. So, it's poetic in a way. Quite beautiful. A beautiful trash. Like the Titan. Okay, what I'm trying to get at here is that there's a lot of trial and error with this jacket. I'm going to show you guys what not to do. Multiple what not to do. But I finally ended it with the right way. Okay, guys, my mind was just blown. I did so many methods, so many different ways on how to do the jacket. And they all failed horribly. They were all tragic. They were all a waste of money, a waste of time. But I finally came up with one that works. Much like the pathways in the f***ing video game. Was it always meant to be that way? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Come join me on this roller coaster of freaking cosplay. And see all of my failed attempts. Trust me, the final product does look good. Let's go! All right, so basically just like the pants, I went ahead and cut down the length of the zipper. It's about nine inches, just underneath my elbow. I had to cut around the zipper that was already there, but it just made it wider so I could put in more red fabric after that. Uh, and then I went ahead and sewed in the new zipper. Well, I guess my sewing machine hated my singing because it broke on me. Nice. So I use the next best thing, which is basically hot glue. I did the exact same thing with those pant legs, and like I said in the last video, really, really don't use hot glue. It will not stay, especially with the red leather that I'm using here. For some reason, it just will not stick, and it will fall apart on you. I promise that's exactly what happened to me later in the video. But at least the sleeve does look good here. The red and the black and the silver zipper, I mean, damn. Next up, I went ahead and added cayenne pepper to the chicken tikka masala for dinner. I gotta say, that was a big improvement. Added the kick that it needed. Anyway, going back to shadow, this is when I took the stencil that I made earlier, went ahead and taped it down to the jacket and traced it all up. This is the part I really should not have done. I went ahead and cut out the negative design out of the jacket. The whole idea is that I was going to put a whole red piece behind the black outline of the jacket and I was going to sew it down. But at this point, the sewing machine was giving me way too much trouble trying to sew basically two pieces of leather together. So I went ahead with hot glue and I really should not have done that. Good morning, gamers. I can say that because it's like 2 a.m. in the freaking morning. Uh, so here's the deal. As you can tell, I got my hair, I got the makeup going on. It was kind of like a test run, right? Actually, I was gonna go do the photo shoot of the final result. Uh, however, we, were, we ran into a snag. Look at this. While we were shooting the shots, we noticed that the jacket on the back was starting to fall apart. Now, hot glue, I guess, doesn't mix well with fake leather or whatever this stuff is it literally just decided to just come apart so my sewing machine as you guys saw jammed up hopefully it's not broken it's done something like that before so hopefully i could fix it and i'm just gonna go back and sew these parts together because i feel like that's that's the best way of doing it also just because eventually you know, I want this jacket to be like real clothes. I want to wear this out and about. I mean, hmm, the missus told me I look really good in it. So 
Come on. Also, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and reinforce the uh, red parts on the uh, sleeves as well. Also, on the pants too, right? Uh, actually, I had to do that right before we left for the uh, for the photo shoot. Um, some of it was coming off, so that should have been a good foreshadowing warning, whatever you want to freaking call it. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So yeah. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, we're not done yet, but while we're here, might as well take a look at the hair and the eyes. I got the eye makeup, you know, it was inspired by the guy on Instagram. I thought it looked good. So, hey, we're sticking with that. With the hair, I mean, this was kind of, like I said, this is like a test. Uh, next time I'm going to go ahead and do like, probably make a stencil to where I could get, you know, the nice diamond part on top. And I mean, this side looks better than, than this side. It's kind of almost all red. And that's not where I'm, where I'm going for here. I do like uh, what I did here. You know, this is like the the black with the red on top. That's That's my little personal touch. I do like that. But uh, that's basically it. So, wish me luck. I'm gonna try to fix my sewing machine and uh, fix this jacket while I'm at it, so. All right, I've just about lost my freaking mind when it comes to trying to repair this freaking jacket. I hate this thing. It's jammed on me way too many times. And well, quite frankly, I do need a new one. I've had it for about seven years. Anyway, the method this is like a fifth method I'm trying. And this one was, okay, obviously the hot glue on this faux leather, it doesn't like it. So I went ahead and tried. What if I sewed the backing, right? Or the front facing, I don't freaking know. But the backing of the red leather, Faux leather, whatever the frick you want to call it, is very adhesive. It, it bonds to glue very, very well. So I had the notion, okay, why don't I sew, right? Sew the backing of the red onto the red, and then that's the part that I glue to the backing of the black jacket. Okay, so in theory, that one. However, I suck at measuring. And this looks terrible. This looks oh absolutely terrible. And guess what? Now I have to buy a new jacket. Because there's no way this is salvageable. There's too many holes and tears and it's just at this point this thing is beaten it's trashed it's it's time to go so at this point i felt like i needed a break so i went ahead and sat down watched the elvis movie by austin butler and i got inspired to change up my outfit a little bit and also pull a muscle but i can't help but think that my outfit is starting to ever so slightly look like elvis's outfit and maybe that's intentional because, hey, Sonic Adventure 2 was released in 2001. Well, Shadow was an experiment from 50 years ago, and that would make it 1951 in the in-game canon, at least. Elvis wasn't big yet in 1951, but who's to say it's not canon that Gerald Robotnik did style this ultimate life form after his granddaughter's favorite singer at the time. Not to mention, my favorite Shadow voice, Jason Griffith, is a huge Elvis fan himself. So after my break, and also singing to Ellie, I felt energized to finally finish this jacket.
cheers, y'all. The jacket's done. Real quick, before I throw it away, I want to show you guys the uh, the first jacket at the very end of the day. Oh, this thing's seen freaking Vietnam. Oh my god, look at the back. <laughs> it's all cut out, and you, you can kind of see, like, at the, at the bottom right here, there's, like, places. Yeah, you can kind of see it. There are places where I was testing out glue and seeing what's going on. Um, this sleeve is completely cut off <laughs> because I was trying to figure out the measurements for the zipper on the new jacket. This one shredded to oblivion. Good lord. Uh, and then there's a little bit of the red spot right here. This is the red suede. I practiced the red suede on this jacket first. I want to make sure it worked. And uh, any imperfections like in the suede caused by glue or whatever, I, I kind of touched up with red paint. That actually worked quite nicely. So, can I, can I, can I get a salute? chat maybe like an f in the chat i don't know for this guy he was a trooper i'm gonna throw him away i might not throw him away actually it's too many memories we'll see what happens and the the new jacket back there you can barely see it in the dark uh i wouldn't say it was worth the trouble that i went through but it does look fantastic but before we take a look at the final result shots i do want to talk about some accessories complimentary items that help with the outfit first off being this shirt that i'm wearing actually got this off at Etsy, right? And um, it's pretty cool because his shop does have like different characters like Silver, Tails, Sonic, Metal Sonic, and you can get it like any kind of color, not just black, but it's a very nice shirt. Pretty cheap too. Put it in the link in the description for sure for you guys. So next up is the dilemma of Shadow's chest fur, right? Uh, most cosplayers, myself included, we do the white fur collar like on the jacket. It looks fine, but I want to do something different and being that his outfit more or less kind of was inspired by Elvis and also maybe like a bike, like a motorcycle gang member, I guess, um, which is a great parallel because Austin Butler starred as Elvis and now he's in a motorcycle movie later this year. But anyway, a lot of bikers, I guess, wear bandanas and I don't know if that's for gang affiliation or not, but I went with this white like silk bandana or scarf, I don't know, and I guess, you know, Elvis does kind of wear something like that, but he tied up kind of loosely right here. Boom. There you go. And lastly, we have Shadow's gun. Now, I know he only had a gun in one game, but I felt like it was necessary. It's his game. So, this is just a BB gun that I got off of uh, Amazon. I went ahead and painted the tip. It was bright orange. I went ahead and uh, painted it black just, you know, for the photo reasons. Um, it's a pretty nice gun, and it doesn't look exactly like the one he has, like, in the box arts of, uh, or, yeah, the, the promotional images of Shadow the Hedgehog, but I think it looks nice, so. Hm. Ow. And lastly, his holster, which is just a simple leg holster for a BB gun, so nothing really special there. Oh, and how can I forget this? And that's it. Finally, this outfit is done. That jacket alone it took me so long and the inhibitor rings i ain't forgetting about that but thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this journey i'm going to wear the hell out of this outfit not only for the sonic 3 premiere and the sonic x shadow generations game but also for sonic expo sonic symphony and a whole lot of other things including the next video on this channel so make sure you subscribe trust me you don't want to miss this next video but anyway thank you guys so much for watching have yourselves an awesome night seriously and let's take a look at the final result.
lost control!